Live. Now underway in Dee Dee Moore's trial. She's accused of murdering a Lakeland lottery winner in 2009. Our Bill Logan has been in the courtroom all morning. He joins us now live with the latest. Good afternoon, Bill. And good afternoon to you, Dee. Yeah, that testimony is slated to go after lunch as they get a little bit of a break now. But yeah, the opening arguments have wrapped up this morning. Both the defense, which went very quickly, and the prosecution, which went through painstaking detail, uh, piece by piece opening arguments from them, uh, all going on all morning here. Uh, Didi Moore arriving for court in a yellow blouse and armed with a pad and pen. She took copious notes as prosecutor Jay Pruner took over an hour detailing the case against her, including a string of stories she told investigators in both Polk and Hillsborough counties as they tried to figure out what happened to lotto winner Abraham Shakespeare. The, uh, Assistant state attorney said all the evidence, even the stuff Dee Dee made up and later recanted, points to her being Shakespeare's killer. Within 60 days of having been divested of everything he owns to Dee Dee Moore, all that's left of Abraham Shakespeare is his decaying body in a grave under a concrete slab behind a house that she bought on Highway 60 near Plant City, Florida. Interesting enough, in the arguments made by the defense attorney, Dee Dee Moore seen crying through much of that, very upset, very shaken, and she did not look very happy. When everyone left the courtroom for the lunch break, we'll see what her demeanor is like when they come back. And as you mentioned, uh, get some of those opening uh, witnesses on, on the stand, finding out all of the facts in this very circuitous case. Reporting live at the courthouse in downtown Tampa, Bill Logan, ABC Action.